that's why I, that's why I felt like I had to tell y'all what I was doing. Like, <laughs> I dig it, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. That says, all right, man. <laughs> So Hi. we are live. We are yeah, live. Yeah. Welcome, 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 everybody. This is Mask Off. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? Mask Off. Episode 10. Episode 10. Man, this mofo said Kung Flu. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah. Oh, man. Um, My man, Jake, how you doing, my brother? I Oh, before I get into Jake. I am big tone, a mask off. To Jake, <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, uh, big tone, mask off, big tone. Uh, I'm feeling good, man. Uh, I turned 34 yesterday. You know uh, and hey, congratulations, my brother. Yeah, and uh, it was a, it was a cool, it was a cool birthday. You know, I wish I could be around people, but uh, a lot of people showed love yesterday. So you know, what I'm saying it is what it is. I had a nice day. You know. What I mean? I fucked hey, up an Oreo up. cake. It was good. <laughs> hey, I thought you didn't like hey, cake. Hey, hey. <laughs> I like cake. <laughs> cake, 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 cake. That's the mother nigga cake. named Jake that don't fuck with cake. <laughs> Yo, hey, that, was, uh, that was bars. That was bars. Let's go to uh, Mask Off Malachi. What's up? What they do, y'all? Man, I'm feeling good. I, uh, I'm, I'm, man, I'm feeling good. I don't want to say I'm tired because I don't feel it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all giving me energy right now, so. But you I'm just say. Here, man. <laughs> wow. This, this, what we, this what we doing, Daniel? Okay, just let a brother be. Let me, let me have my, let me have my opening did. monologue. Daniel you shitting on everybody today. <laughs> Yo, man, and, nah, Daniel, that, for the last three episodes, Daniel been going hard. <laughs> As a matter of fact, while we got his attention, let's will it in. What's up, Mom? Dan, what's up with you? How you feeling, brother? I've been uh, great too. I have not been uh, being mean for for the last month or so. I've been fine. Um, just here to put on a great show, guys. Uh, let's. The first step is admitted. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, we gonna we gonna get right into it. Y'all know what it is. We come here. We talked about issues that uh, what's going on socially um, and how we're affected by it and how other people are affected by it. But before we start all that, we are gonna get right into my young boy and um, his motivational minute. Let's go, Malachi. What it do, good people? <clears throat> Today's motivational minute is by a quote from Bob Marley. It says, the greatness of a man is not how much wealth he acquires, but in his integrity and his ability to affect, affect those around him positively. That's from the late, great Bob Marley. <clears throat> so what this is saying is that money is good. Yes, nobody's saying that money is bad. But what really will last is those things that you do to affect another person. Because we all go through stuff in life. And we all need somebody, we all need an encouraging word here and there or a feeling of positivity or just a pat on the back just to keep us going. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's important to, to plant those seeds of positivity so that your light can shine and people can feel that light and they can be refreshed by it. And that's what's really going to last. And that's what's really going to help uh, move the world forward. That's your Motivational Minute. I'm Malachi Lee. Boom. Boom. Uh -huh. That is so that dope. Was, man. Yeah, man. Was, was, was that a minute? It was. I felt like it he was. did it. it I felt like he really did it right there. Shout out oh, to yeah, the young boy it. for making that minute happen. Thank yes, you. yes, yes, always yes. dropping jewels yes. all the time. Dropping jewels, it. big jewels. Right now, we're gonna do something spectacular that I think all four of us have been waiting for. We're gonna get into a new segment. It's called For the Culture, featuring my man Jake. Let's go, baby. For the culture. What up, yo? It's your boy Jake. And like Tom said, it's for the culture. We're going to talk about things that I think is dope and black culture or or pretty much shit that I think is dope. Anyway, uh, anyone who knows me knows that I'm, I'm a big sneakerhead. You know, like you probably see the sneakers like behind me on, um, on my uh, shelf in the back and stuff. And, uh, you know, yeah, I've been collecting sneakers for a long time. Uh, a lot of people, you know, what I'm saying they claim to be sneakerheads just uh, collecting Jordans and collecting Yeezys and stuff, but they not, you know what I'm saying? They hype beats. You know what I'm saying? I'm a true sneakerhead. I love it all. You know what I'm saying? Barclays, Pennies, you know what I'm saying? Andre Agassi's, all that stuff. One sneaker I want to talk to you uh, about today is called the Nike Air Trainer. 
It's a very classic sneaker. Thanks for the pick. It was really originally uh, originally released in 1987. It was uh, the first cross trainer sneaker that Nike ever released. And what cross trainer means is a sneaker that you can use in like multiple sports, whether it's baseball, uh, football, tennis, basketball. Uh, you saw this sneaker on the feet of like many tennis players, but uh, a lot of different athletes wore too, uh, including um, an athlete named Bo Jackson, who was famous, you know, for playing um, baseball for the Kansas City Royals and also uh, football for the L.A. Raiders. And Bo Jackson will become like the face of the Nike Air Trainer campaign uh, because, you know, he's he was good in multiple sports. Uh, which hence the bone O's campaign anyway. Um, but the Nike Tra air trainer, that's a very underrated line. And I love this sneaker as you can see right now. Um, that's the uh, air trainer SC, both of those colors, both of those sneakers and colorways were released in 1990. And I'm just a big fan of like 1980s, uh, late eighties, 1990s, uh, sneakers. Um, can I get to the, go to the next pick, please. Um, and Right there, you got uh, young Spike Lee on the set of Do the Right Thing, and he's wearing a Nike Air Trainer medicine ball, a very uh, classic sneaker. Can we go to the next uh, picture, please? Here, right here, we got the Nike Air Trainer Biotech. Uh, this shoe is dropping tomorrow, June 27th, 10 a.m. at Nike.com and other Nike sports retailers. This is a dope sneaker. If you like, if you like sneakers, and you know what I'm saying, you're trying to like, you know what I'm saying, you're trying to do it. Like do it different, like crack crack motherfuckers in the head with your style. Be like, oh shit, what is those? You know what I'm saying? This is a sneaker you should cop. I'm definitely trying to cop. I ain't got my unemployment yet, so that's gonna be hard. But <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna get the sneaker one way or another. And that's it for for the culture. I'm your homie Jay. Man, that was dope. That's good information to know, man, for the culture, man. And um, stay tuned for that segment. We're gonna be running that one because there's so much that uh that he he can definitely put his game on as far as for the culture. Um, I'm gonna get into what, my discussion. Oh, what type go of, ahead, Dan. What type of stuff you wear with that uh shoe, Jake? Jeans. Uh, you said what? You said, yeah. Uh, yeah. What type of clothes you 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 wear with that? I'll probably uh, keep it neutral. Back in the day, I'll probably try to overmatch it and look stupid. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? Um, I try to keep it neutral. You know what I'm saying? Wear like some blue jeans, maybe a, a gray shirt, and then I'll rock, have and then wear the shoes. Because, you know, some, something like that, a shoe like that, that's got to be the cherry on top of your outfit. You right. can't flood your outfit with colors and shit. Like wear a purple yeah. shirt, and yellow this, yellow that. Your whole, like you just, it look, it, 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 look, it look mad corny. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, keep and it no, neutral. Nobody want to be out here looking mad corny on nah, any level. Not at all. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Even people that's considered to be corny, they don't really want to be corny. Exactly. They, they, yeah, they, they don't want to look do corny. Better. Yeah, I remember, do better. I remember I went to a concert and I saw this dude in an all blue dicky outfit, royal blue dicky outfit with royal blue. Uh, <laughs> Nike boots. Uh, no, no, royal blue Adidas gazelles and a get and a uh, royal blue. Uh, <laughs> Uh, gas station tiger hat, and you know what he's about to say, crib. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a fucking crib. He, he looked, he, he looked like a, he, he looked like an uncle for real. Like he, he thought he was crispy, and but nah, that 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 wasn't that that wasn't a look. So you don't want to look like that. Overmatching makes you look like your mom dressed you. But anyway, I, 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 I saw a same uh, same type of individual. You know, I'm from the east side, and uh. IG thinks uh, my people are far east. Hmm. But anyway, uh, <laughs> while I was on the far east side of Detroit, I saw a guy in like a non later green outfit at the gas station. And everything was green from the hat all the way down to the uh, Air Force Ones he had on. And I said, that's a no go. No, 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 no. But that's no the exact go. type of person you can't say, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, just, leave, it. leave him alone. Like, like, nigga, you ain't matching. You ain't matching. <laughs> right, right, right. I, okay. right. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, the the, the yeah, thing so about we, those we, guys is they be they really be happy that they stepped out like that. Like, like you just <laughs> fell in a whole bucket of paint and got up. Like, oh snap! Hey, I'm a little fresh actually. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. what you know about this? I'm like, all right, all right. <laughs> 
All right, well, we're going to keep it moving, man. I'm, I'm going to talk my talk, man. It's something I'm, I've been working on. And uh, today, I decided to name this segment, uh, Tony's going to put you on game. And um, this is my very first addition to game I'm going to put y'all on. See, um, we've all been there. We've all decided, hey, look, I want to get some pizza. I want to uh, embark in uh, what's considered to be good. And sometimes when you open up the box, the box is pretty hot. You know, the, the cheese is melting. And um, and you see this, like, little like little table that's sitting in the middle yeah. of the pizza. You gentlemen, you know what that is? It's called yeah, a... That... What? Go ahead. No, no. You know what it is? Nah, brother, I don't. I thought okay. it just whole, whole. I thought it whole all the pieces together. Nah, 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 nah. What it's called is a piece of savior, and you are correct. What it does is it holds it together, so you can press down on it and grab your individual slice. And that is Tony mm. putting you up on game. Boom! Wow! Quick and fast yeah. to the point. That's how game gonna be. From ten yeah. all the way up, we give you quick game in here. <laughs> <laughs> we hit it out. You know we hit it out. And I did not know that 10. shit. I did not it, know that yeah. shit at all. Yeah, yeah we, we giving you quick game so you can like, oh, oh really? Yeah. Boom. Pick it up real if quick. I, I wanted to up. open up a piece of franchise tomorrow, I'll be fucked up because I would not have <laughs> known about the little plastic table. I'll be fucked up in the game. <laughs> Folks will come back and throw that piece in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my piece of saver, thank you. <laughs> right. And you're gonna have Karen's outside your door, like, yes, he does not have a pizza saver in the box. You know how many, you know how many overdress, uh I mean uh overmatching east side niggas who run up on me like <laughs> all right, all right, let's don't disrespect the east side. Let's not do that. Don't disrespect the east side. Let's not do it. I apologize right now. And, and IG told you I'm far east too to check yourself. <laughs> Bro, you know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, we're gonna get a whole new following uh, tomorrow of just off that uh, comment. I'm not doing it. You were you were different east side cat. No, stop. Stop, stop. Jay. You, you hey, what's, what's the opposite, Jay? What's the opposite? He tried to go there today. What's what's the opposite? If he different, what's the other thing? No, don't no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep it moving, man. Let's get into this group discussion, man. Uh, today's first topic of our group discussion is black on black crime, man. A lot of people talk about it, you know, with, with today's social injustice that's taking place in, against um, a lot of uh, cops, uh, white officers posing as cops. We have this thing that uh, we're, we're battling as a whole as black people. We're not only dealing with that, we're dealing with something else and uh, we're dealing with uh, two battles. The one where we, we're dealing with this uh, black on black crime and we're dealing with uh, this white supremacy thing we we, we face it. Um, this past Father's Day weekend, man, was horrendous. You know what I'm saying? If you look at the clips, um, Dan showing 25 people shot, four killed violently in Detroit. And then if you go to Chicago, uh, Chicago is 10 times worse with, with the stats, man. And it's like, we have to look at what are the variables as to why we got here today and what can we do to change it and where are we going in the future? You know what I'm saying? I was talking about Chicago and um, here it goes, 104 people shot, 15 fatal, fatal deaths over Father's Day weekend. Gentlemen, what's your thought? Malachi, what's your thoughts on this, my brother? Yeah, <clears throat> so... It's ironic, but not ironic that this happened over Father's Day weekend. The first issue in the black community is the black male, which is usually missing in the black family. A lot of these a lot of these young folks are growing up without fathers, without without necessary guidance, because when somebody goes when a man goes through something, he's able to pass that knowledge, knowledge down to his children about how to stay out of the streets, how to do right, whatever it is and stay out of violence. So these I think that's the first that was the first issue. You know what I'm saying? These the lack of fathers in the home to set that example of this is how you be a man and, and stay out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? So this, this violent rage that's happening. A lot of times people are hurt and they don't, they, they don't know that they hurt and they got to express that anger some type of way. And sometimes that's how it happens. 
Uh, I have a buddy, man, and um, I love him to death. And one of the, I was, it was like I was on social media like two or three weeks back, posting all my how we need to come together as people. We need to unite. And he posted, well, uh, we talking all this unity, but I know unity gonna bring my sister back from this guy who killed this black guy who killed my sister. And it made me take a step back and like think like this is really like deep man like yo what are we doing in a position today in 2020 that we are hating each other to this degree you know what i'm saying we know it's economics you know what i'm saying we know it's a systematic thing that got us like this and uh, we, we talk about drugs how it has plagued our community you know what i'm saying all these factors that 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 has uh molded our community you know what i mean and yeah it's true there's crime everywhere. There's crime in all types of uh, 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 races. You know what I'm saying? And, and yes, we get highlighted the most when it comes to uh, uh, when we want justice for ourselves. We get highlighted the most. But it, 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 it makes me start thinking about all these variables. Jake, what's your thoughts? Man, I think that, you know, it's, um, I, I'm, I'm sad. It's, it's sad because, like, we we see we see all this marching for us, us and everything and it's like i don't wait we march like we're marching when they when the police is killing us and like all these uh hate crimes and all that stuff but like but some of them but it, it, i don't like it's still happening with us and i hate to like and i hate when they bring it up like when white i hate when like the racist people bring it up or White people bring it up being like, oh, like, there's still black on black crime going on. So they're hypocrites. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? And it, I hate that they're saying it because they just don't understand. They don't understand the whole picture. But it's something right. that still needs to be talked about and it's something that will need to be addressed. And there's a and a lot of people, they don't want to they don't want to look at themselves and like they don't want to look at themselves and be like, yeah, we are. We are killing each other. We are. We we, we are playing up we we are being pawns in in their scheme to hold ourselves back and it's like you got like you got smart up and there's a lot of people that claim they woke that know that the is systematic that know that we are put here to to fail they know this shit but they still keep doing the same shit like you like you know what i'm saying like i like in my um in my in my one man show birth of whole ass nation um there was a character I was playing like an Uncle Tom Sambo type character, and I, I made and I and I said in that and I said in that character I wrote I said that um like I'm the type I'll say like I'm the type of guy to go to a Black Lives Matter rally, but then later on shoot a nigga over a dice game and shit and that shit yeah. and shit like that happens and, and it happens all the time. Like we can't like we gotta stop like we gotta stop killing each other. We gotta. Yes, we got I to. Totally, because, I totally dig it. I yeah. totally dig it. I totally like, dig it, man. Real, real change. Like, if you want change, real change starts with within. Like, you can't wait for them. It, it starts with us. If you want something to change, it got to start with you. And and, and the black community got to change. Got to start with us. I get it. Um, Dan, what's your thoughts on it? Yeah, man, this is a tough, complex like a topic here. Yeah, so like like Jake said, just. I hate when like there's like a white person that that, that just goes with, with, with the whole yeah, but what about black on black crime? Yada yada yada. Well, first of all, like, like they they say that to just say we we don't need need to change change stuff. This is just y'all, and, and it's more so uh, as a way to just silence the whole topic and, and, and all of that. They don't care about it. Um, if they did care about it, they they would know that there's constant groups inside these cities. That are trying to f f fix this. There's like a lot, like a bunch of the, a bunch of the, um, like the, uh, the watches and, 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 and like the block groups and all that stuff. Like that, they're constantly trying to add like program grants and stuff to change it. Uh, but the thing is, is that it's they're working on it. But the stuff that they're trying to change is like a system thing. That the stuff that we're fighting for for, for, for now in the protest, like with, with the cops and all that stuff, like that is half of the work there uh one one once you start to like fix 
like be, be, being constantly abused by cops and like constantly uh, being pushed down and like constantly being denied jobs and things like that. Like that once that's clear, like that kind of takes care of like half of it. The, the second half of it is like you guys said, that is something that we as a group have to like go into and just look at ourselves and, and yes, we can say systematically that it's, it's not our fault that, that these things were put in place. But despite that, we have to work on that. And at the same time, we have to say we have to like get past this ourselves. So like a lot of that, uh, uh, like, like self, like self uh, building that up your, yourself and, 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 and like that, that stuff we have to do, too. Um, and that takes a long that takes a long, hard look at at things like at things like self-hate. Like that is a constant thing in, in, inside this. And like once you really start to uh, look at it, one of the things that I started to see uh, uh, now uh, within these protests is is that now that like I'm constantly seeing like the the, the ways like, like black, black folks are oppressed on my time on my timeline. So I'm constantly seeing it now. Like I'm seeing what I, I've kind of saw is that if this is constantly happening, like think about each person that lives in the hood that 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 like that constantly lives that they don't know why they can't get these things that they, they they don't know why every time that they turn on the screen that like they they they're, they're being portrayed away they right. they they just don't know why this is their life right. and. At a time like that, sort of just constantly go, go goes in your head, and like that's what you believe, mm -hmm. and that is kind of what just transforms that per per person there. Like you, and and like you see it a lot in hip hop too, where it's mm -hmm. they're telling you what they think there. Like like this yeah. is a, like like they're 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 saying what their mindset is. This is yeah. not hip hop doesn't like change. Uh, people's minds. It's it just speaking the minds of what they they saw uh, there there now. So like when a person is constantly talking about like they hate their they they hate the guy next next door. Like we should like listen to it and really just digest like why they they they're, they're saying that. There's a lot of self self hate and it's you you just got to do a lot of work with yourself with your friends and just constantly work work, work towards that and then try to help out within the group too. You know, Dan, as much as um, that, that's a good point you brought up, and much as I glorify Tupac and Biggie Smalls, those gentlemen, they talked a lot of self-hate, a lot of self-worth, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Pac wasn't necessarily like that when he first started off, but later on in life, he, you know, I see death around the corner. It's almost like he was prophesizing mm -hmm. his death. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Biggie Smalls, I'm ready to die. I'm prophesizing yep. my death. And yep. and it's almost yeah. like you um uh they 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 was living with PTSD every day being yes. in the ghetto. And, and, and you know it's what I mean? Not just yeah. them. And it's not just them. Yep. Yeah. Right. It, right. You know, and, and what that, I was saying was, is um, uh, is is that I, I, I'm not I'm not saying that those songs are bad. I'm saying let, let let's really look at them and let's really look at why they're saying this stuff. Yes. and it's because yeah, of these things that we've been talking about for the last month. I mean, well, yeah. the, the world's been talking about for the last month. We've been talking about for years, but um, for more than years. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but yeah, right. Yeah, I I totally agree with you. Um, and, and that's. That's going to very good point, Daniel. That's going to conclude this segment of uh, group discussion. We're going to move to our next uh, topic, and um, it's another heavy hitter, man. Like while all this stuff is taking place today, as far as the pandemic, there is a silent pandemic also taking effect, and it's called domestic abuse. You know what I'm saying? Can you um, run that clip for me, if you if you mind? Right now, many people are trapped, trapped in their homes with an abuser. This is the shadow pandemic. In one weekend, calls to domestic abuse helplines in the UK went up by 65%. In the US, Asia, and pretty much everywhere, reported numbers are rising. These aren't just numbers, they're people you might know. If you think someone is in trouble, Check in on them. Ask them if they're okay and if everything at home is okay. Educate yourself about domestic violence. 
know the details of local services like helpline numbers or shelters. If she tells you or you suspect that her life or the lives of her children are in immediate danger, call the protection units or the police. The shadow pandemic is spreading right now. Let's help each other. Save it was it was important that I bring this to the forefront with, with the rest of the fellows because I believe that uh you know us as being four men on this show, we could talk a lot about stuff, how we feel, what's going on, but you know, we all we all have sisters, we have mothers, we have cousins, we have aunts, grandmothers, we all have somebody out there that's Just some way, friends. some form, friends that are dealing with some form of domestic abuse. And it hasn't stopped. It's like I said, it's it's a shadow pandemic that's taking place right now. It's a lot of women out here, and I'm not I'm gonna be frank, that's getting fucked up, and it's not cool, you know what I mean? And I'm a firm believer is man law that shit you just do not you don't touch babies and you don't you don't hit your woman you know what i'm saying yeah and, and that's real talk right there and if you out there use a fucking punk you know what i mean that's how i feel you know what i mean it, it it really it really bothers me you know what i'm saying um what's your thoughts on uh, malachi uh yeah so it's 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 crazy you know you know you you in quarantine you know what i'm saying you're forced to stay home with this person that's 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 abusing you, you know what I'm saying, and that's that's just a, a crazy thing to even even fathom being in that situation. And, I, and my heart goes out to them, you know. And there's and a part of me is also curious to the reason why that people stay. And I'm not judging anybody for their situation at all, but you know, there's there, I, and as I don't, this seems sensitive, but get out, like do what you got to do to 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 free yourself from that. You know what I'm saying? It's because nobody deserves that, you know what I'm saying? Nobody deserves to be to be mistreated by the person that they supposedly love, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of it isn't always physical. It's it's the verbal abuse as well that plays on the mind that you know you getting constantly put down by your significant other. That can hurt. That can hurt over a time. So I, I feel like it's crazy. It's just another thing that's on top of the quarantine, the pandemic, and all that. And it's, something has to be done. But the, the you crazy know, thing, like you the, said. The crazy thing, Malachi, this ties into what Dan was saying about the self-worth and the mm -hmm. self-hate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's all connected. This is just a female yeah. perspective of it. Exactly. You know, and when we talk about women, we talk about uh insecurities, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you say uh get out and things like that. You have to, it's hard to get out of a situation that's bad. I'm gonna mm -hmm. put it out there like that, and it's it's easy. Coming from a perspective where you're not in it, when you're when right, you're not true. a part of it, it's easy to say, "Girl, leave him alone." You know what I'm saying? Right, or true. guy, leave her true. alone. You know what I mean? It, it don't just work with the females. It, domestic abuse work either way. You know what I'm saying? But it's hard to really you you think about all these variables. You think about if you got kids with this person. You think about what you're gonna do with the kids. You think about right, how true. you're gonna survive on your own. You think about how you're gonna maintain money. You think about how you how the kids are gonna look at you, you know what I mean? All these things play a factor instead of just, well, I'm just gonna leave. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because it's a stigma that comes along with that. You go to a shelter, you know what I'm saying? All your friends know you in a shelter, and they like, girl, what you doing? It, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, so right. it, it's so much that comes along with just getting out. But for the most part, just right. work on trying to improve who you are. That's all you can do okay. before it's too late and they, they fuck you up. Dan, go ahead. Yeah, uh, to that point. And sometimes like they're they're just scared for their life and, and they and they should be. Uh one of the bigger uh uh, uh cases that's that's ha happened inside the last couple of weeks is uh with this 19 year old girl named uh, Toyin Salau. I think I'm saying that name right there. Um, pull this up. Yeah, yeah. But she was like a 19 year old protester uh, that like tweeted uh, uh, about the man that that, that that like was constantly be like that constantly hurting her too. And like she she just put put it put it out there. There she went to the cops and like the the, the cop just said yeah yeah well we we can't do shit until like he does something. And then so like she she she, she put that tweet out put, put his name name out there tried to leave and then. And then they found her like two two they like two weeks went went past and they found her dead. So it's just like, like so it's it's like a person trying to help help themselves, but 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 these men like 
I mean, they'll, they'll they'll take it there too, and it's it's just right. yeah. Again, Tony, like like you said, it goes back to, to that self hate, and, and it goes back to that, like yeah, we we got to take a good hard look as men as to like what's go, going on like like within us too. Uh, mm-hmm. So the fact that you the fact that you can like take it that like take it there or or just like just all like like the whole thing like like, like the fact that you can do all that is 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 sickening and it's we we really got to look at as as men and just like you know just stop this man for real yeah yeah right. yeah you, you know i'm gonna go to jake jake go ahead with your with your comments bro i just want to say that uh we this is like we we all, we keep saying like we want justice for you know what i'm saying our like when our, our black men are getting killed we we need wait every every we need we we need a uh, ju- we need justice need to be served equally everywhere. You know how many times that you know how many women have been like 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 killed because of like a, a domestic situation. You know how many times like a woman like like they say like why why they say like well why didn't you do anything? Why did you leave? And like they try there's there's situations when they try to leave and they try to call the police. They try to like get the the, the justice system involved and the justice system don't do shit. They they, 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 they'll mm-hmm. put the dude in jail for about like 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 a month or two and then he back out and then you know what I'm saying he gonna stalk her and he's gonna like you know what I'm saying he's gonna wow. he it, it happens he's gonna get he's gonna go right back to beating her abusing her and possibly kill her because you know he because he fucked up in the head he's narc yeah. he's narcissistic he yeah. you know what I'm saying he's like oh yeah. you um if I can't have you nobody will shit like that mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying Makes so sense. It, the whole thing is fucked up. Like, like, like. That's clown. Whole, that's that's so clown shit like, to me, bro. That's that, clown. That is clown shit. But more so, like the justice. Like, there's a lot of women that try to get out, and the justice system don't have their back. And and, and it's it like doesn't. they they do not have they they don't have their back. You know what I'm saying? Like the like yeah. just like how the the justice system doesn't give a fuck about black people. They do. They they don't give a fuck about women either. <laughs> they they yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. So I, didn't, I didn't go. Go ahead, Malachi. I'm sorry. I I, I you know because I had my my point in the beginning of they should just leave and, and Tone you and Jake y'all both uh, gave me some points that made me kind of re that may, actually made me rethink that and and to see the, the the mentality of those women and what they're going through I have a higher respect for that because that's that's even though it's not their fault it is their fight and so. You know, I, I almost wanted to say apologize for even, you know, thinking that it was that easy. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Because that's a lot. That's a lot to deal with. Like Jake said, if you if you fighting a, a whole justice system itself, you know, that really caters to the man almost, usually the white man. But you know, it's catering to this man. How can you fight it? You know, so that is. One, I want to leave on this thought. We need to embrace our sisters. We need to embrace our mothers. We need to embrace family because. When the dynamic of family got taken away from the black people, you know, what I'm saying we we was raised off, raised as a village. That's the last right. thing I was brought up as. It takes yeah. a village to raise a child, and in my neighborhood on um, Crane between Forest and Warren, shout out, you know, what I'm saying that's what we had. We had a village, you know, what I'm saying. From Miss Hope to Miss Johnson, Miss Jenkins, you know what I'm saying, all the way down, Mr. Mac, you know what I'm saying, Miss Green, the whole Green family, and I'm shouting out my block, but that's how it was. <laughs> that's how it was in the '80s, though. It was a village. We got so far of taking care of each other that we allow everything to be whatever, and allow we allow the system to come into our lives and affect us in which we can't really pull back and get each other. You know what I'm saying? And and we got to get better. And the only way we can get better if we acknowledge that we have issues that we have not tapped into to solve yet. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. called trauma. We need to work on it as black people. You know what I mean? We need to work on this PS of uh, uh, post-traumatic PTSD. stress disorder. You know what I'm saying? That we we carry with us every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I know everybody hit the damn fireworks outside. I'm thinking maybe somebody shooting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's just part of part of what goes into it. You know what I'm saying? But um, we're gonna move on before great we move topics, on to, great topics. Before we move on to the next subject matter, I want to hit the chat room. Malachi, what's popping in the chat? Yep. So we got a uh, Facebook. We got Mabel Woodward. 
She said, uh, welcome. That's my dude. Hey. <laughs> All right. Shout out to my dudes. My dudes. What's uh, up? She also gave Jake a happy birthday shout out. She said, happy birthday. She Thanks, Ma, she said in the, in, the, in the Stevie Wonder voice, so I'll sing it to y'all real quick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Malachi, man. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Tony Augusti. He put a, uh, one of these emojis up. He rocking with us. Um, that's what that's what we got for now. Okay. We got we got another chat room, or we, that's what we got right now. That's it? That's, that's it right now, my baby. For right now, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. right now. I'm gonna keep saying that for right now. All right, let's go. We're gonna we, <laughs> we got gonna a lot of people coming in. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we gonna uh, head over to Jake. Jake talk that talk. Let's go, baby. All right, what up though? It's Jake again. And you know, I want to talk something. I'm gonna talk about something that uh that pissed pissed me the fuck off that I saw this week. So um I saw earlier this early this week that uh in, a, in Baltimore at a restaurant, uh, a young man was denied entrance into this establishment because he was wearing athletic gear. Um, he was with his mother, and while they were, and while the mother was like questioning this or whatever, she looked around the restaurant and she saw a white kid who was dressed exactly like his son. I mean, like her son. And um, then, right, and right off the bat, like you know, that's discrimination. And she's questioning the, um, the the management, the host at the restaurant, and you know, and you know, the evidence is right there. It's discrimination. They're being racist, but they like they back, you know, they, they backpedaling and backtracking and all that stuff. And you know, they 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 doing everything except like you know, just admit that yeah, we we discriminate. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like like the picture. Look, look at the picture. Like it, it pretty much they're wearing the same exact shit. The only difference is one is white and the other is black, and the black is denied interest in establishment. And you know what I'm saying? And, and it happens, that, and that shit happens all the time. And a lot of people who don't understand that, but it happens all the time. I remember back in the day, um, you know what I'm saying? I'll go to like club, like when I was living in Detroit, I'll come, I'll go out to like some, like a, a club or something out, uh, out here. I mean, out in the Royal Oak and stuff, and then I'll um. I, like I went to a club on Royal Oak, and they the uh, the bouncer denied entrance for, to me because my pants were baggy. You know what I'm saying? It, it was this was like ten years ago. That's when baggy pants were more in style. But he said that uh yeah my pants were sagging. I can't get in. I even pulled them up, tightened my belt. He was like, no, because as soon as you get in there, they're gonna go right back down. But then before and at, he he let white dudes with baggy pants in the club before and after me they were sagging he even let some white guys who were sagging with skinny jeans i'm like what kind of shit is that you know what i'm saying <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know and it, it's just like and, and that incident that incident is pretty much every it's it it, it it symbolizes everything we're trying to say to to people about racism like like everything like y'all y'all like y'all just <laughs> like Y'all don't want us here. You do not want y'all don't care about us. You do not want us here. You don't want us anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like every time, like, 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 if we if we protest for something, we're called thugs. White people are called, oh, we're we're good, we're 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 good people and great people that are fighting for our rights. You know what I'm saying? If 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 a if a black person go if a black teenager is caught is uh caught for a crime, he is caught committing a crime, he uh he's called a thug. If a white teenager commits a crime, he's a young teenager. That's what they say in the papers. Like, it, it, it just in every aspect, like, like racism, discrimination is infested in every part of America. And everything we do is, is, is infested and infected in, in schools and in, 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 in like, uh, career or jobs, in entertainment, everywhere. Like, it's, it's infested. Like, Wow. Everything like every like oh my god sorry wow 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 bro wow like, man. wow I, I totally understand man I totally get it and I, I empathize with you it makes me want to say fuck your establishment let's just get our own shit so we don't have to worry about who getting in where we set our own rules but that's another conversation we need to have in itself economic. <laughs> Greetings, good 
people. It is Dr. Mass. Good evening. Good evening. Um, as I continue my studies across this wide spectrum of Karens, I find that Karens, they come in many shapes and sizes, personality-wise, that is. Now, sometimes these Karens, although they can be at fault, sometimes the person that they're targeting can go a little bit too far. Play that clip for me, please, sir. Karen, are you okay? Can you explain to me calmly? No, because you're attacking me right now. I'm not attacking you. Ma'am, you flicked me off. Guys, this is her license plate number. She lives here. This is her address. Karen, you flipped me off. No, you cut me off like and flipped me off, and now you're playing the victim. Ma'am, would you like to calm down? No, you're Guys, she flipped me off. She literally flipped me off, and then she tried to come home. Pause the she video, please, for one second. Now, I want you to observe the, the position that this man's car was in at the, at the moment of that incident. Now, you would all... You would seem to think, what is his car doing there in that position? And does this seem like this woman's home? I believe it is. Continue to click, please. We're going to actually fast forward. There we go. So she's going to tell a little backstory about what happened. And then when she saw that I had my phone and I was recording her, she threw her car in reverse and then took off. I thought to follow the bitch. Mm. Karen, oh, you're yeah. not gonna sit there. Flip me off. You flipped me off. Sir. You don't touch me. Do not touch me. Wow. You flipped me off. I don't care. Wow. Yeah. Um, so I want to point out a few things that I found in this video that I found to be quite intriguing. Um, as I pointed out earlier, the exact position of this man's car that it was in, he pulled up to her home. He pulled up to this Karen's home. Yes, it is established that she is a Karen. Whatever incident occurred prior to these happenings, I'm sure she had no reason or right to do those things. That is established. However, in the incident that you are attacked or you are the victim of a Karen incident, the thing that you should do is stay calm. Because if the police to, uh, were to arrive at this event, to arrive at this woman's home, all they see is a black man's vehicle pulled up in the I'll pull up and hop out on you position. And you will see this white woman at her home. Now, she simply would fear for her life. She did fear for her life because I would fear, fear for my life, too, if somebody followed me home and then pulled up with that sideways I'll pull up on you position. So although she was wrong, you got to be able to control the temper. Look, if she let it go. Just drive home. Enjoy your day. You, you made it safe. You made it home, but you don't want to get there because if the cops get involved, that's going to be on you. They're going to believe that, Karen. Dr. Mask, what a That, that was powerful. Yeah, very unique. Wow. Uh, what was that, just road rage? <laughs> yeah, uh, just so he, he, he alluded to in, in the video there that um, she flicked him off and, and caught him the, the uh, you know, the hard R, as they would say. And um, this, oh. you know, this things of the, of that nature. And yes, if that is true, that is very incorrect. That is very bad behavior. Yes. But I would just say from doctor's mask perspective, if someone does that to me and I'm good, I'm good. I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going to keep driving in my car, keep playing my music. And I don't want anything to do with that. I don't want to get riled up by the things that you're doing inside of your vehicle while I'm inside of mine. Yes, sir, Tony. So Dr. Mask. So you're telling me if a Karen or a cow or Todd flip me off by any chance, I do not follow them in a rage, uh, a black man rage moment and follow them to their car, even though I'm thinking I should do that. I should not do that. Is that what you're saying to me? That is precisely correct, Tony. That is very well said. You must have looked over my notes yourself. Yes, you do not want to engage in as the aggressor, as the aggressor, excuse me, because at that point, 
when the police arrive, they will only see a black man being the aggressor. It really won't be too many questions asked. It might be some bullets thrown, though. Just being real. With you. Yes, Daniel. Yes. So how should we uh, deal with a wild, hard R. Karen? Hard R. Karen's. Now, I'll, I'll say this. It depends on the scenario. If you are in a position that you are safe, your well-being is not not in harm or anything like that. You, you might want to just let those let those feelings just roll, roll off on you because Karens will exist. And you you reacting in an A manner or a B manner or whatever manner that is will not change the fact of the actions that the Karens do now. So you want to you want to be able to control how you react to it because it's still it's going to happen. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mass. This is very informative, Dr. Mass. Thank it's you. I really simple. appreciate it. Uh, uh, Jake, you have a question? Yes, sir. No, I was just saying, like, good job, Dr. Mass. Um, that was like very the, uh, informative. That was very informative. Very informative. Wow. Very informative. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Sometimes you can't be doing – this guy was okay. doing the most. <laughs> he, he do, he was. Yeah, I, what, I agree. What? I agree, Jake. He was doing the most, even though he had valid points. Did. Yeah, I'm, I'm not following nobody to their house. You know what I mean? No, 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 and, no, no, no. and what if he would have followed her to his house and she uh popped the trunk or uh, her husband come out of the garage and start opening up on him? Yeah, as his constitutional right, he had to defend yeah. his house. You at that? You at their property? So yeah. You got to pick and choose when the check erases. You got to pick and choose. That's true. <laughs> pick your battles. Well, one said, spot okay. is not their house. <laughs> That that's is very is not their house. That is very true. That's that's you guys said it said it best. It's once you arrive at that person's property, it's fair game at that point. You don't know what could have happened, and that's why she was so hysterical because she she couldn't believe that this black man followed her home. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you Dr. Mass. We appreciate you. We're gonna head on to uh, another segment, and um, this is our uh, quick hits. So, um, uh. If anybody doesn't know how quick hits go, basically this is what it is. We'll we'll be talking about some subject matters that's very important, but we'll be doing it very quickly. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get to the first one. The first one is about Bubba Wallace, NASCAR, and the news. Uh, Jake, what's your thoughts on it? Yeah, man. So from my understanding, yeah, they found a news and Bubba. But what's what's my man name? Bubba. Bubba Wallace. Uh, Bubba Wallace. They they found a noose in Bubba Wallace's garage. And then and the noose has been there for 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 a while, forever. I mean, like Bubba Wallace was using the garage at the at the time. Like he, it, it wasn't his, but like, yeah, like it was been there for a minute. So like like what's that about? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm sorry, run and run the clip for me, please, Dan. Sound plan? So no, I don't think the sound playing. But it, anyway, anyway, let uh, let's just go into it. Malachi, your thoughts on um on the situation with Bubba Wallace? Yeah, so a uh, little little mixed things here because you know the the reports were mixed. That's why you know it, it came out that it was you know it was a target targeted hate crime. Then the FBI does an investigation to find out that it's always been there, but they skipped over the fact that that of the fact of what it was. So it's like, come on, it was a noose. No matter how long it's been there, let's address that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dan, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it's still a noose. A noose is a noose. <laughs> like, the guy walked in and he saw that on the door of his uh, of his space there. And he did the right thing. Like, he assumed that was a noose because he started to talk shit the, the, the few days before that. Hey, hey makes sense to me. And that's the news. That's all day news. news. We're going to the next <laughs> one. The next one is the C Seattle uh chop zone, which is the Capitol Hill uh organized protest zone. And um the issue with them is uh they have taken over a section of Seattle, the downtown section of Seattle. They have uh taken over the police station down there. And um, they will not let the cops get the police station back. So they are occupying this area. And one of the problems that's taking place in that community is people who live in that area have a big problem with these protesters. Run the clip, please. 
protesters on Seattle's Capitol Hill are fighting for change from the police and city. But residents nearby say they're being harmed in the process, some even describing themselves as hostages. Their lives, no doubt, have been turned upside down, and they're just hoping for some normalcy as soon as possible. Kick 5 Sebastian Robertson talked to residents and protesters about how CHOP is being received by its new neighbors. Sebastian. So these complaints coming from the residents themselves, from tear gas pouring into their apartment buildings at the beginning of this to now loud music throughout the night, they make it clear that if the CHOP is going to coexist with the people who already live in this neighborhood, well, then some changes need to be made. To the rest of the world, this area is the CHOP or CHAZ. We're not even here most of the time, and it's terrible to live here right now. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a lot. You know, they feel horrible about them living in a area. But uh, on the flip side, you have the uh, protesters who really don't care about what's going on with the um, <laughs> with the community. Um, any thoughts on that, Malachi? Yeah, I, I feel like to see the community um, in such com camaraderie is is I like that. You know, they really going hard to, to the point that they got the they got the police shook over there. Like they are over there. Um, as far as the residents go, I mean, help help us with the cause, and and we'll be off your block. You feel me? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you you can't hold it. You can't hold a community hostage based on your your principles. You know what I'm saying? And you know what's crazy right? about you know what's crazy about that is uh, they they're getting to loud. They're playing loud music at night, and I think it was one person who got shot and killed like last week. And um, they would not allow the police to come in and assess the situation. Uh, Dan, what's your thoughts on it? Uh, I, I think the cops shot that guy. Could be an undercover. You never know. Jake, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I think uh, a plainclothes cop shot the dude, too. <laughs> but <I think laughs> could be. Okay, I, I, I do, too. And it, it's, it's all, to me, it's all, it's all fuckery. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Yes. Pretty yeah. much. All right, next one. We're going to get into the verse battle. If you do not know, ladies and gentlemen, one of the dopest M uh, MCs ever and one of the dopest MCs ever. That's two of the dopest MCs. I just pointed <laughs> out. Fab and JD Cares decided they're going to do a versus battle. Who are you taking in this versus battle? Malachi. Yeah, I go with Fab on this one. I'm a huge fan of both of them. More so a fan of Fab. I uh, my high school days spent listening to Fabulous, and uh, they both dope lyricists. It's gonna be a tight race, but I gotta give it to Fab. Jake, your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, um, uh, you know what I'm saying. This I think this battle could go either way. Both of them got like a lot of uh, some hits, got some classics, and them. Uh, Fab got more probably like some commercial hits, so he might take it out. But it depends on if Jada Kiss like can play like all his stuff and that, and that not just the solo stuff, but his stuff with the locks as well. And bad boy stuff. He's got a lot of classes with them too. So if he plays that, I think, you know, it could go either way, but I'm more of a JD kiss fan. So I'm, I'm rocking with kiss. Daniel, your thoughts. I'm going to go with fab, but that's mostly because sorry to say, I haven't heard a lot of kiss. I'm going with fabulous based because based on the, on the reason, because of the fact that JD kiss, don't have good albums. He just don't have good albums. He's an awesome freestyler, but he just yeah. don't have great albums. So I'm going with Fabulous on that one. Our next he's one a is artist. yeah, he's a great mixtape artist. Our next topic is Vince Carter retiring from basketball after 22 years in the game. What's your thoughts on this, Dan? Vince collected those checks for at least the last five years. He wasn't doing nothing at all. <laughs> nah, hey, hey, don't, nah, don't play. He shot a like three. That. He shot a three pointer every now and then. That's it. How, how about how about you, Malachi? Nah, Vince Carter. He was actually producing as an NBA player over these last five years. It wasn't the same Vince Carter that we know, but he mm -hmm. was contributing. You know what I'm saying? He was and he was giving leadership. So. I, I, I'm glad to see a, a, a good NBA vet go in the right way. It's, it's kind of sucks that it is during COVID, but salute to Vince Carter. That's a shout out to him. He said the only thing can shut him down is the COVID. Boom, right. 22. <laughs> yeah, Jake, what's your thoughts, Jake? What's your yeah, thoughts? Yeah, man, like uh, salute to Vince Carter. 
legend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, like you see, like we see a lot of superstars come in, and then like all of a sudden they're not there no more. Probably, probably cause like injuries or some other fuck shit happened or whatever. But you know, Vince stayed there. We saw we saw him as an explosive player, and we, we saw him like evolve into another player. And sometimes when players get older, you know, they 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 game they their game changes. You know what I'm saying? They gotta they gotta adapt to a new style and like play their position. You know what I'm saying? So and that's what Vince Carter did. So um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think he did a lot more than with Daniel. <laughs> Daniel was no, saying. I, no, like, I, I love Vince. I love Vince for, for a long I still like, like Vince. I, I'm just saying. I, I ain't saying you didn't like oh, him. Oh, oh, first of all, the Hawks was like Man. the worst team in the league for the last couple of years. Right, so true. He didn't provide that much better presence. <laughs> so look up, look up. I, I bet you he still got a highlight reel over these last three years, though. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. I him probably do. I've seen the highlight reel. They lay up. Like. <laughs> no, he got he got some dunks in there. He got some dunks in there. Oh man, dunks! But I, hey, lay up the steel points. I love Vince. Lay up the steel. They still uh, still points, man. They still points. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move to the next one. Um, look, I'm gonna have to say this. This is what sparked a lot of our uh, topic. Is uh, fresh off the uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. This nut said some outlandish things. One of the main things he said, hit the clip. Let's go. Did anybody see my speech the other night on Saturday night? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I said the other night, there's never been anything where they have so many names. I could give you 19 or 20 names for that, right? It's got all different names. Wuhan. Now Wuhan was catching on. Coronavirus, right? Kung flu, yeah. Yo, this crowd is Kung dumb. <laughs> crowd is racist. As COVID, fuck. COVID nineteen, COVID. I said, what's the nineteen? COVID nineteen. Some people can't explain what the nineteen. Give me the COVID nineteen. I said, that's an odd name. I could give you many, many names. <laughs> He's a whole nutcase, Some man. Call I... it the Chinese flu, the China flu, right? They call it the. China, as opposed to China, the China. He really in his element right now, too. Right, right. Like, 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 like he really is. I, I, like he's all, like, I, he's like what, like kung flu, the COVID. What, like he just he, he got he, he put a little swagger to his racism. Like he, he's, he, like, he, he's like a horrible race. He's like the Sam Kennison of racism. Yeah, like, man. Uh, like no one wants to hear that Sam shit, bro. Kennison. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. And that crowd was so that crowd was so dumb. He, that he crowd say, was uh, going hell. COVID nineteen. No, that's real science. Fuck that. <laughs> so we, you all see how we feel about that. So we are gonna move on to this last clip. And um, this clip right here, I have to say, we're not even gonna really do much talking about it. We're gonna get a play by play. We thought it was hilarious, so we put it on so everybody could see. One a clip, Dan. Let's go. I know I look pitiful, right? But let me put you on. This is me back against the wall on another nigga block about to fight a million niggas because my shorty got into some drama, right? I was supposed to be at work. This nigga thinks he's slick, but my spidey sisters was tingling. Weave, look, but then this. <laughs> After that, I felt the same anger that took over Goku's body after Frieza killed Krillin. Word two. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? But after this quick little squab, I tried to slide off the block because, you feel what I'm saying? The same mile block. But look, you feel what I'm saying? We get into a little one, two. Weave. Weave. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to hit him with the Louisville slugger so he I could, died. you feel what I'm saying? Make my fucking escape. But then he grabs me. I got little legs, my nigga. My, you feel what I'm saying? I tried to sl slide off again, but then they sanctioned a whole fucking boxing match. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm feeling like Craig and Debo. You feel what I'm saying? Look, weave, weave. But then look, ah, he grabs me. You feel what I'm saying? Little legs. I got on Crocs. He done ripped my shirt into a fucking cardigan. You feel what I'm saying? Look at me. <laughs> Nike shorts. I'm doing bad out here. Look at me. I'm tired, huffing and puffing. I just want to go the fuck home. You feel what I'm saying? But look at this. I love, I love the synchronization. Look, look how him and his man weaves my punch. Look, look. Weave, I love it. You feel what I'm saying? That that laid me when I seen it. You feel what I'm saying? No, uh, uh, weave, duck, bow, and I can't even enjoy. Look, Spidey <laughs> sisters. Yeah, and this is exactly yeah. how I got to that. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. Yo, yo, that play by play, man. You know, was, we, uh, that was crazy. First that, of all, 
first of all, I want to say it's crazy that the whole block was on his head, though. That's exactly that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's yeah. ridiculous. What you was gonna say, Dan? And that is exactly why I say we shouldn't be talking shit about the Far East. Side right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> that's, that's a good that, That's definitely a a Brooklyn nigga for real or somebody. Some I, some, I some, think some, it's Philly, Brooklyn. It's it's one or the other. It, it far, seemed like yeah. it, it Jersey, seemed like it, it looked Jersey, like it's Jersey, Jersey, Philly, whatever. somewhere over there. Yeah, you know I mean, but um, I I. I no, no. Oh, shit. What is going on? What's up, brothers? Oh, yeah, I'm back. I'm back in full effect like I never left. I know y'all crying. I bet I hacked y'all episode last week. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. how y'all doing? Hey, conspiracy, brother. Hey, All right. Brother. Yeah, hi, yeah, y'all good? Okay. Yeah, we, yeah, we good. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do fine. you know what good means, brother? How can you be good if you don't know the definition of good, brother? I, we say we're good, conspiracy. Today's brother. conspiracy is, I'm sure y'all heard of this. They trying to, they are trying to take away some of the power that was given to us as black people. What? Aunt Jemima? <laughs> Aunt Jemima pancake syrup. Now, now you can't think of a breakfast without thinking about my auntie, she is personally my auntie, no, Aunt she's Jemima. No, she's not. <laughs> she ain't your damn auntie. It's your auntie, mama. <laughs> Excuse me. Silence. Thank you. Now, my auntie specifically told me, her her nephew, conspiracy brother, to make sure that her legacy continues. So I'm here today to make sure that we keep her face on because we need more black man representation. All right, all right. All right. We, we need to come on. Man. See, that's the problem with the system. See, the see the black man, the black woman, they get a job, they get a they get a little piece of the pie, and then and then and then and then, and then 45, 55 years later, they wanna they wanna they wanna they wanna get awake, they wanna get woke, they wanna wake up and open their eyes and think they was doing the wrong thing by having us visualize this black woman and her sweet potato pies. Well, maybe not sweet potato pies, but you get the point. Don't disguise the truth when it's really a lie. When they telling you it's a lie, but it's the truth if you look at it with your eyes closed. Wait, so so what, you what, think what? this this was a good job for? Like, it, it, yeah, this was blackface. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You blackface, brother. Do you know the original picture of her had her at the kitchen table with a chain? Uh, she was chained to the to the to the kitchen table. My auntie, Aunt Jemima. My auntie. That's not your auntie, motherfucker. <laughs> not, that's not saying that. It's not that's everybody's auntie. If you like syrup, yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. This ain't God. good, brother. This Damn. is black face, man. Take this it off. Good. Black face. God. That is a oh, that is God. a beautiful that is a beautiful black queen, my brother. That is good, that my is my brother. aunt Jemima. Right there, brother. Nah, 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 man. So are y'all saying, are y'all saying they need to take this symbolism down? Is that what y'all are telling me, brothers? Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Need to go. Yeah, need to man. Go, How many brother. times a day do you open your eyes? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> if you if you maximize the time that you visualize with your real eyes, then you might realize that they telling you lies with they lies, and you realizing that you just believe in them lies, them lies that they telling you. You seen that? All right, All too, right. Much. Yeah. <laughs> too much. What's too much? Too much for TV, bro. Like, I'm giving conspiracy brother negative fifty five yeah. bean <laughs> that- now, bro. That was his worst, worst one. I'm gonna eat his grapes. Oh, nigga, I'm I burnt all his koofies. God, oh, God. God. I burnt them bitches, man. I oh think I think part of my brain died listening to that nigga, man. Oh, oh my god, god Seriously, brother, do better. We're gonna move Please. on. We're we gonna move on to the next segment, and the final segment is our wrap it up segment with uh our tech. Mr. Dan, the man, mask off. Dan, hit me with the heezy. What you got for me, baby? All right. Um, I got a few tweets for you. Live from my likes feed. 
Let me see. Let's find the first one. Uh, that's that news. Let's watch this one. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy is, is like some type of dog whisperer guy. Um, uh, and let's just watch it. He thinks he's doing the shit. I don't think you need the sound for it. Wait for it. Oh. 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 <laughs> he can't do that all. <laughs> so now he, he he proceeds to stand there and put his like he put his dick right in front of him. Yeah. So I, man. I don't know, some type of scare tactic. What the fuck, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> like pretending that he did not just get his head bit by this dog. He <laughs> bleeding out as we speak, though. <laughs> like a drink of water, bro. Like watch the dog, dog watch him. <laughs> this is this him showing that he dominated. He dominated the scene. Right. He, but right. he did it. He, yeah, he, he did. did. He bit you. See, that's the problem right there. That's the problem right there. He hit them with a good little hook. He he hit the dog with a good little hook. That set mm-hmm. everything off. Yeah, and, yeah. And wasn't, he drinking, and wasn't the dog drinking water? Why he hit him? Like he ran up. No, on he was eating. He, yeah, he, he ran up on the board. Yeah, Chow, he was Chow. eating. Yeah. Dog. But what's fuck? funny? What's funny is when at that at that point that he got bit, he at that moment he said easy, easy, and that's when he attacked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading. I, I'm reading the. Uh, I'm reading the actual <laughs> post. My nigga Airbud told that dog which to do. Fuck out of here with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, the dog ain't even fast. He like, bro, why are you so close to me? Like, he like, he dog like, you, he like, you, right. you don't want no more. You don't want no more. Right, right. Like, you don't want no more. And look, he trying to size him up. Like, he, right, you know, right. I'm gonna put some water in here. You get your nut ass off. Fucking nut. Hey, at the, at the end, he was like, he was like, hey, that's that's my job. <laughs> yeah, your yeah, job is yeah. Get your hand to wrong. Yeah, <laughs> no, fucking with that dog. That dog ain't did shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All mm-hmm. right, let's let's go to uh, let's grab me two more here. Um, this next one is a is, is a clip that they're saying is from the quarantine, but it might not be. But let's check it out. People are still trying to eat. With a whole plastic bag over there. <laughs> this is retarded, bro. <laughs> just, just not, like, like at this point, just don't go out. <laughs> the thing said, I would never want a jalapeno popper this bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how many? How many I, I got a question. How many black folks are in that bag? There was absolutely zero inside that bag. Thank you. Come on now. <laughs> that is that is trying to kill yourself. Literally, they put you in a body bag. You just you just so happy you, to be eating. All you got to do is just roll over. They're gonna roll you up in that bag <laughs> right, and right. throw your ass in a damn truck. <laughs> you know what I mean, you already there. You know I mean? Come on. Man. No mm-hmm. need for an examination. She chose. Yeah, you already here. Well, go ahead. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, we see the great. Ja Rule. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ja Rule, ja Rule. You ever hate your life so good? Think when it thinks it. Oh no. Hey! <laughs> 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 Octopod well, uh, well, but it's good. I, 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 I did this shit in the basement, food. bro. <laughs> and they got wine too. I'm telling you, come on down to Papa Cristo. You can't even pronounce the food. It's so good. Papa Cristo. Show them what you're working with, Papa. Show them how you do it. Hey, Papa, hey, where are you? Papa, are you here? Papa, are you here? Come on down to Papa Cristo. 2771 West. You know, you know who I blame for all this? <laughs> you know who I blame for all this? 
I'm gonna oh. tell you who I blame. I blame fucking 50 Cent. Yeah, all of it. Yeah. 50 Cent destroyed this man's career, and he has never been able to get his shit back together. At the, ooh, like who the fuck want to hear Ja Rule right now? Like <laughs> nobody, bro, nobody. Come on, man. Jason Bell even called this nigga out. Like no one gives a fuck with Ja Rule thing <laughs> right now. Right, right. Especially right. about no fucking Greek food and shit, bro. But like, like Tony, <laughs> like, but like Tony was saying, I was thinking the exact same thing. Like Fifty Cent, bro, and like you giving Fifty more ammo to be petty, fam. Like he's gonna see this shit. <laughs> he's gonna go. Uh, he's he gonna clock. He, can, he can't even renounce this shit. He, you know nah, he, he tearing it. He tearing all the foods down. But he's so hyper energetic, though. He's wearing. <laughs> he's in his socks. Show him how you do it. He's, he's in the kitchen in the socks. That's, that's, that's my favorite move right there. Show him what you're working with, Papa. <laughs> he fucked up with the the fire festival. You know what I'm saying? That was a big flop. Oh my god. Fifty gonna have a field day with this shit, bro. He. Y'all uh, saw that shit when he bought uh 50 bought out the first five <laughs> rolls of the <laughs> yeah. He doing that shit in his socks, bro. Nah, yeah. I guarantee you he got a he got a smooth 500 for that. Smooth 500. <laughs> but but 500. you know, integrity is a lot too, man. Like when you start doing shit and losing your integrity, nobody give a fuck about you. Let, um, me, let me ask you this, Tom. Would you go to eat there? Fuck no. No, I won't. I don't want to eat beer. I come out of beer. I come out of beer. I'm talking right now. Before we go, <laughs> before we go, gentlemen, I forgot to hit the chat up. I'm going to hit the yeah, chat up you. before we go. Malachi, what's yeah. popping in the chat, baby? Yeah, we got uh, KJ Tricey. That's your people, Tom. All right. Shout out. Shout out. Yep, shout yep. out. Uh, they said happy birthday to Jake. You said, love Conspiracy Brother and Dr. Mash. You guys are awesome. I love the show. It talks about real issues and mixes comedy. Thumbs up. Uh, Kat McCadley. Mc yeah, I'm sorry. I'm bad with names, y'all. Uh, she said, happy birthday, Jake. We got uh, you. YouTube. Uh, we got Lawrence was tapping in with us. He said, right there. I don't know to what point, but he agreed with something. And then he also said, legislation and economics. So I'm uh, assuming this is to one of the topics we were talking yeah. about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 We so got any everybody more. rocking with us. We got nah, any more it. in the chat? That's, that was, that's KJ that's Tracy that's and that's uh Cats uh McCadley. That's who they are. Okay. Shout out to my people. That's all fam. You know what I mean? Shout that's out to them. DJ Touch is in the motherfucking building. What Shout up? Out oh. DJ Touch with the birthday coming oh, up. Oh, birthday oh, celebration. Oh, DJ yeah. Touch. Happy oh, early birthday. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Once again, happy birthday, happy birthday to Jake. Happy hey, birthday, hey, Jake. Thank you. Man. Thank it's you. real, man. It's it's good. Happy it's birthday, good. bro. It is I tried good. to think of a I tried to think of a uh, of a player that had the famous number 34, but I couldn't think of nobody. Bo Jackson, <laughs> who I mentioned earlier. Ah, I see what you did though. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I'm, I'm gonna say this, man. It is has good been job, a, a pleasure. Going through this experience for 10 episodes with my brothers. I'm not saying we're going anywhere. I'm not saying we're not. All I'm saying is mask off is in the motherfucking building. So oh, yeah. with that, this concluding mask off episode 10. You know what I'm saying? Um, this motherfucker said come flu. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I am big tone of mask off. Below me is my man. Mask off, Jake. What up, though? Well, I don't know what I'm saying. What up, though? Uh, thanks for watching, y'all. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, you, you just uh, <laughs> next to him is my young boy, uh, Mask off, Malachi. Man, appreciate everybody rocking with us weekly on the daily. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Keep rocking with us. We're gonna keep rocking with y'all. My man with the plan, Mask off, Dan. What yeah, it do? Right. Shows deep, guys. Let it sink in. This ten, is us. Ten. It, count them up. One, two, three, ten. Mask <laughs> off. Ten. Episode <laughs> ten out. Peace. What did he say? <laughs>